When you hear about someone building a robot, you might think of a scene from a science fiction film with robots that travel through time to take over the world or clean up the garbage on Earth so that humans can return. In reality, you can build a robot at home to do things that would be helpful to you, like turn on the light when it gets dark or move an object out of your way. My name is Julie and I'm with the Science Center of Iowa. I have some materials here for building a robot, but first I want to think about what is it that I want my robot to do? Since we're learning about new ways to act when we're able to get together again, I think I will make a robot that will help me to stay safe when I leave my home. I am going to be using robotics components from my friends at Bird Brain Technologies, including a microbit and a hummingbird Arduino. These two components will help me to translate my code from the computer into instructions for the different inputs and outputs my robot will be using. I will also be using a distance sensor, some LED lights, and a battery pack for power. For the program, I will be using MakeCode, which is a block-based coding platform. With it, I can program the robot to sense people within a certain distance and then turn on the lights to show if they are getting too close. Here is my social distancing robot. I used a toilet paper tube and some pipe cleaners, along with the robotics components I put together earlier. When I am a safe distance away, the light of the robot is green. As I get closer, the yellow light comes on to say that you are getting a little too close. When the red light comes on, you are definitely too close and need to back up. Creating robots is about using technology and code to accomplish something that you want to happen. The Science Center of Iowa has these and other robotics materials in our innovation lab. My friends at Bird Brain Technology have set up some robots in their studio that you can control through code. To learn more, click on the link below. If you are interested in learning more, be sure to check out more videos and posts available on the Science Center of Iowa's website, Facebook, and Twitter pages, helping you go beyond with SCI.